When the idea of rotary sub comes to mind, people usually think of some big powerful device that moves a lot of air and can get very loud. In the past, rotary subs have been quite large and tend to draw a bit of power. They are also usually not portable. As I kept thinking about this, I wondered if downsizing a rotary sub would work. I also wondered if putting a tiny rotary sub inside of a handheld Bluetooth speaker would work or not. This video will seek to answer this very question. I realized that I needed to test this theory, but I only had a couple of 9 inch rotary subs, a 6 inch rotary sub, and a 16 inch rotary sub. So before I would test my theory, I would need to build a rotary sub small enough to fit inside of a handheld speaker. I started with a motor from a CD reader, a 5 watt miniature sub, and a couple of other parts. I decided that building a 3 inch rotary sub would be ideal. Designing and building the 3 inch rotary sub was not too bad, in fact I think it was actually easier than building any of my other subs. One part that was annoying about making this rotary sub was making the little paperclip push rods and inserting them. Other than that, I was pretty amazed how smoothly everything was going together and I was rather stoked by the fact that I was the only person in the world who was going to actually build a battery operated Bluetooth speaker with a built in functional rotary sub. The first thing I did with my tiny rotary sub when it was finished was test it in a cardboard box configuration. This was supposed to simulate an infinite baffle better than a small speaker cabin would. I compared the base output to a regular 3 inch cone sub in the same cardboard box configuration. It turned out that the rotary sub shook the box about three times as much as the regular sub, indicating that it was pushing at least three times as much air. This was quite informative. After I finished the cardboard box test, it was time to build the actual speaker box that the rotary sub would go into. So we finally have all the pieces that we need to build this speaker. We have the Bluetooth amp the subwoofer, the top piece, the two tweeters, the casing for the speaker, the wave, the air guide for the port, and last but definitely not least, the rotary subwoofer. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put the speaker inside this, this and we're gonna test to see how that sounds and then we're going to try with the rotary sub. All right. The air guide has been installed. The air goes under this way and out this. I put a couple of plugs here, one for the mo motor power and one for the speaker. I finished putting the tweeters on this piece. It's now been fully glued together. Once the speaker box was finished, I first tested it with the regular sub. It sounded pretty good, and I doubted that the rotary sub would sound any better, partly because of the rattling. I then tested it with the rotary sub.
As you can hear, it was quite rattly and there was definitely less bass output compared to the regular sub. A lot was learned during this experiment and I can say that rotary subs do not work as well as conventional cone subs inside Bluetooth speakers. This partly has to do with the fact that the speaker lacks the infinite baffle, but also because the rotary sub cannot move the air as forcefully as the cone sub can. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would really like it if you commented on it. I honestly care more about the comments than the subscribers, but feel free to subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you on the next audio endeavor.